Today, we got a new battery from Seacon. Let's open it up. All right, so we got a user's manual. This is a 12.8 volt, 100 amp hour. Oh, it says a classic lithium iron phosphate battery. We have our M8 terminal bolts. All right, and there's the battery. So this is in your standard group 31 case. And right here, it says max continuous charge and discharge current is 100 amps. And it says you can connect four in series and four in parallel. It has a recommended charge current of 20 amps and a recommended discharge of 20 amps. So let's go ahead and get a weight on this guy. And we have come in at 22.4 pounds. All right, so let's go ahead and charge this guy up and then we'll do a capacity test. All right, so the battery is fully charged now. I've got my shunt hooked up. Let's go ahead and turn the inverter on. And then we'll turn the air conditioner on over here. There we go. And we are starting to pull power. All right, looks like we've settled in around 470 watts. Pulling about 30 four amps. Oh, it looks like we're going down in power a little bit here. Thirty-four point four amps now. All right, so I'll just let that continue on and I'll be back when it's complete. All right, so we have fully discharged the 100 amp hours and uh, we're actually still going. Uh, let's see, we're at 11.6 volts. After this is finished, I can look at the app and see how many watt hours we did total. So I'll just let it keep going until the inverter starts to complain. All right, so the inverter is now complaining. So we can go ahead and shut our load off over here and then turn off the inverter. All right, so we discharged 1.34 kilowatt hours. So I just did the math and that gives us a final capacity of 104.68 amp hours. All right, so we got the lid banged pretty much off. We just gotta rip it the rest, oh, there it goes. And there is the guts. We have a what do we got here? It looks like a four gauge on the positive. doesn't actually say it's a 105 Celsius jacket and then on the negative we have what is it? it looks like a double eight maybe and that's a 105 Celsius wire oh it's a seven gauge so it's a double seven gauge on the negative and here's the BMS. It says ZP04S016 T S version 12. 
Uh, it looks like it does have a thermal sensor, so this may have low temp protection. Let's see if we can get these cells out. All right, so uh, definitely prismatic. And here is the top of the cells. So we've got welded aluminum bus bars. They do have the relief hump in the middle. Uh, there is spacing material in between the cells. We've got high density foam all around. Uh, the connections look good and solid. We do have a clear readable QR code. Let's see if we can get a scan. Oh, we did. And check this out. These are EVE cells. So they're really high quality. Uh, yeah, it shows a uh, 100 amp hour capacity cells. 320 watt hours. Nice. Wow, I didn't expect that, but these are high quality EVE cells. Okay, so let's see if I can find the little temp sensor. Oh, there it is. Somewhere under there. There we go. I got it. Alright, so I got the charger hooked up. We're pushing in 41, 42 amps. Let me see if I can freeze this guy up. Yeah, it does work. Awesome. So it has low temperature protection. Uh, the build quality looks fairly decent. It's not bad. It's it's pretty decent. Um, you know, it has EVE cells. I don't see anything to complain about, to be honest with you guys. Um, it seems like a pretty good, pretty good battery. All right, guys. So I think that's going to be it for the video. Let me know what you think about this battery. I'll leave links in the description, and I'll catch you in the next one.